What's up guys, it's Zan here for Speedline Technology with an app review on Things for Mac. Things is a to-do list app that you can buy for $49.99 in the US and £34.99 in the UK. Without further ado, let's get into the app. Things is probably that sort of app where you've heard a lot about it, but aren't quite sure if you should go and spend that $50 on it. Thankfully, Cultured Code, the company behind things, have made a free trial of the app. Moving on, as soon as you launch the app, you'll notice the clean interface almost blends in with Earthton itself. Taking a quick tour of the app's views, you may take the inbox is the main screen of the app. Actually, the inbox is where your to-dos go if you're not quite sure where to put them yet. Next up is the today view. Add your to-do to the today view if you're intent on getting it done today. Things will make sure you get it done by putting a small notification next to the section in the sidebar. And there's also a feature to schedule it. After that is the next view, which is the home for all the to-dos you've got to do sometime in the future. The to-dos you add to the today view are also in the next view. Another view in things is the schedule view, where your tasks go if you've scheduled when you need to do them by. I don't use this specific feature as I feel it makes it slightly complicated. Next after scheduled is someday where you can put ideas that you think may be useful, not now, not soon, but you still want to keep them. At the bottom of the focus section in the sidebar is projects. You can link your to-do items together in a project to see everything that you need to do for, say, your new website or some stuff for a client. That's about all for the screens of the app except the logbook though, which is where the to-do items that you've completed will go. That isn't all for the whole app though. Go into the preferences screen and you'll find Things Cloud. Things Cloud lets you sync your to-dos not just with your other computers but also the iPhone and iPad app. One of the things that I don't agree with at all though is the pricing. If you paid for a $50 app on your Mac, you should get the iPhone and iPad app free. Instead, Culture Code are offering the iPhone and iPad apps for $9.99 and $19.99 respectively. If you had a Mac, iPhone and iPad and wanted to have things on all your devices, it would cost a massive $79.97. Overall, Things is a great app, but not worth all that money. They could at least make the iPhone and iPad apps free to those who bought Things for Mac. I rate Things a 3.5 out of 5. It's an amazing app apart from the scheduled set from being a tiny bit confusing and of course the pricing. At the end of this video, I just want to throw in that my Daisy Disc giveaway, also on this channel, is ending on October 30th. There's still loads of time to answer, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my own channel at youtube.com slash zantech.